The number one priority for the Wake County Board of Commissioners for 2013 is to work with the Wake County School Board to develop and pass a bond referendum. And with us to talk about those meetings is the chairman of the Wake County Board of Commissioners, Mr. Joe Bryan, and the chairman of the Wake County School Board, Keith Sutton. Thank you both for being here. Thank you, Eric. Uh, let's start uh, first by talking about how important it is for the boards uh, to work together. I think it's very important for the community to see uh, the uh, school board and the Wake County Commissioners again in partnership making sure that we have this important infrastructure in place for all the growth that we continue to have in, in Wake County with 25,000 or 30,000 people a year coming to Wake County and a lot of them have children and so, so we need to, to build some more schools and to, to maintain our schools. And Keith, the same question. Uh, I think, you know, the, the voters of Wake County elect us, elect both boards to, to do a job and that's to do the business of Wake County, to be good stewards of our resources and our facilities and, and, uh, and, and to be businesslike and professional in, in uh, our execution of that. And so it's important for us to work together to send a message to the community that we are working together, that we think education is important, we think maintaining our facilities and maintaining growth is important. Uh, during these joint meetings, that's exactly what has, has occurred, and there's been uh, a, a lot of discussion back and forth, but in the end, it has ultimately enhanced the relationships between both boards. How important have these meetings been? Well, there's a lot of information that's included in this bond and this bond package and, and what both boards do. Uh, so just looking at the growth, again, we're, we're growing by about 3,200 uh, new students uh, each year. Uh, in this package, there are about 16 new schools being built, 11 elementary schools, about three middle schools, two high schools. And so just trying to figure out, again, what those needs are, as Chairman Brown said, uh, you know, we projected uh, uh, a lot bigger package. We had to whittle that down uh, to what we felt like was, was doable and was reasonable, uh, what we could accomplish in three years, how we would go about doing that where those schools would be located, what needs to go in those buildings, what other kinds of needs beyond just the building of new schools but renovating uh, existing campuses, adding other infrastructure needs such as security cameras, technology, computers, um, those capital needs that, that aren't part of uh, the annual operating budget that we put together. So for the two boards to get together and hash all of that information, all that detail out, uh, takes a lot of work, took several meetings, and it's a long-term plan, even though this is, you know, covers the next three years. We know uh, all the way out to about the next eight to ten years where that growth will continue to occur uh, and where those schools need to, need to be built. I would add that uh, it was a unanimous vote on both boards. So, again, this is not a, uh, a Republican, Democrat, unaffiliated issue. This is an issue of making sure that we're providing uh, the needed capacity and the maintenance of our assets that we have for, for the citizens of Wake County. And both boards coming together and, and recognizing that and now we're moving forward to the public with uh, the anticipation and expectations that, that they will see that need to, to make this investment in, in our schools and our children. And Mr. Bryan, obviously with everything that's needed in the schools, it's the county commissioners that uh, have to look at the checkbook to see uh, what is viable. And, and obviously the, the debt capacity is something that you and your colleagues look at very closely. You know, three to five years, we're expecting over 20,000 new students uh, in our system. You, you, you just have to be prepared for that. Uh, you're, you're right, Eric, in terms of the, the county is responsible for, for building schools. That's, that's a direct responsibility that the, the county and our citizens of Wake County you know, need to, to make that investment in our schools. Uh, fortunately, over the years, due to, particularly due to our professional managers like David Cook, uh, Wake County has been one of a handful of counties to carry a AAA rating by Standard Poor's, Moody's, and Fitch. Well, that's a handful of counties out of 3,069 counties. And, uh, and part of your 53.4 cents in your millage rate per uh, 100 is, uh, uh, is 15 and a half cents is set aside for, for debt service. Um, so we want to be, again, as mentioned earlier, good stewards, uh, do as much as possible. It's a great partnership. We're going to work hard.